Hello everyone, and welcome to a different game, Coffee Talk, uh, joined by a special celebrity guest. Yes, I'm stealing that from you. Um, let me actually drop your size yeah. down here a little tall. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, everyone. Yes. <laughs> She is here. Roger that. Okay. Um, so we're going with English, obviously. Nice. I know basically nothing about this game, so... And I know basically nothing about coffee. Well, I, I know some stuff, so not to worry. Ooh, it's got profiles. It's very cool. What is your name, Barista? Uh, obviously. We're gonna have to go with... Actually, I, I don't know. Let's go with Mookie. Mookie. Excellent. Eggs. Is Mookie correct? Mookie is a combination of our names. Welcome, Mookie. Ah, oh, yes, it is. Welcome, Mookie. <laughs> Alright. I guess we just start. What about the option? Oh. What if. Ah, oh, it's fine. This game won't need subtitles. Seattle 2020. Seattle 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed where they can even discuss. They can be even discussed. But still, it is a place in time where anything can happen. It is when the elves have left the, the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from the, their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them as driven as ever. It is a city that holds many dreams and stories of its people. Dio. Oh my god. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their story. stories. Stories. Excuse me. Coffee talk. Title drop. Oh my gosh. Roll credits. Wait, <laughs> they already did. Yeah. That's what we just did. Right. Okay. Um. Who, I mean, I, I guess I can be us. I, or it can be both of us. I don't know who's talking to who. Well, we are <laughs> speaking. Yes. That's us. So I'm going to just assume. Like, not, not the girl in front of us. I just mean. Right. Who will voice the Mookie? <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Yeah. Look. Oh, it's you. 
You got this. Oh, you want me to be for you? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mookie, how's the night so far? It's calm, as usual. You've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. <laughs> Writer's back again. You got that right. What are you ready now? Do you remember my plan to... Ah. Uh, pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Espresso. That thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hold gameplay. So let me just. I'm a Dutch Hill. Brew pad, I'm, I'm assuming. It's a triple shot espresso. It's really good. It's just a special but true. Uh, Let's see, it's a espresso. How do you make it triple shot? Is that just what it is by default? <laughs> Maybe. Let's just assume that it is. Yeah, a coffee, coffee, and coffee. Blacker than a moonless night. Hotter and more bitter than hell itself. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Coffee as a base. Coffee as a primary. <laughs> Coffee as a secondary. Very warm. Brew. Oh my god. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. That aroma. Ah, exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? You plan to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. Seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the play. At least you yeah. still have your job. In case things go awry. Hee 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 hee. Hee 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 hee. Ah ha 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 ha. It's very funny. Uh, did I. Say something wrong? No, you were right. Said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who runs the evening whispers? DRA Media, right? Yes. They are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So, how did they react? Thankfully, 
he'd seen my short stories. So he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll post some strings and get the fiction publishing division. Sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. And I'm falling behind to the newspaper's deadline. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least we got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Err... Uh... <laughs> I assume the number of words you've written isn't too far from being zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well... It was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. <laughs> so, zero. Oof. Yes. I really need to finish it in it at most two weeks. Then at least extra week to polish, do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, looks like someone's coming. Welcome. Um, sure. Sure. <laughs> I have one moment. <laughs> Allergies are a pain. I can read them. If you wish. If you want to, you can have them too. <laughs> Do you have a I preference? Mean, which would you want? I... Well, I want to read them personally, but I don't okay, mind. Okay, then you can. <laughs> okay. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So, definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please. Chocolate, um, but no coffee. Well, obviously. A, a heart, hot chocolate. The darkest of chocolates. Dark chocolate, that's all. Only chocolate. <laughs> yep, that's incredibly simple. Of course. It is the tutorial. Everything's chocolate? just chocolate. Is that ch chocolate powder? That would be chocolate, yeah. Very bitter. It's at least a little sweet. Serve it. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. So warm. So, you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, 
Should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. Yeah, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. There's always some, someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. But how can you survive running a coffee shop like this? That's a secret. Wookie here is darn rich. That's the secret. <laughs> oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Mookie can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. But you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, uh, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know? You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up. <laughs> wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contr contribute to their short stories. Story. I love their stories. fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Welcome. Do you want to? Should I? <laughs> well, I'm voicing to you. Yeah. One. You think... I mean, I don't mind personally, Why? but... Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top. I see. Okay. Bitter milk latte art. Let's see, something bitter. So, this. Probably. I assume the cappuccino, cappuccino mm. that thing is more bitter than the cafe latte because. It's yeah. More I'm just going to assume coffee, coffee, milk. Yeah. Oh, it's got the latte art. Yep. Here's your order. No art, huh? What? I thought that there was art on it. Oh, no, it wasn't art. You've, you've let him down. Oh, That's my God. 
tastes good, though. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with him. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself, introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Mookie. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you're in contact with Sassy Steve. Yeah, okay, let me, let me <laughs> lower, uh, drop our size down a bit more. Our heads are in the way. <laughs> okay, just... Alright, is that good? Yeah, I can read Steve now anyway. Okay. Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. <laughs> but I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> come on. It's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. <laughs> how do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. It's because you're good with your fists. Not as good as your coffee-making skill, though. Okay. I can throw hands. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So I'll leave you two. In the hands of a friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Should we move to other seats, too? Nah, here's good. Okay, then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal earlier, so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was really in a good mood today. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today, he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the butt. <laughs> you know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter. 
that might be worth it. You should ask Kamuki here how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. My controller is vibrating. Because our phone was doing something. Yeah. <laughs> Your parents? Yes. So you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. They won't give us a chance at all? Anyone but an elf. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're, f they're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still... You don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old sh <laughs> Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. But how even if I outlive you, what? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf. It's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. It's exactly what they said. So, this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding a relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know? We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You lose your immortality. I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. You feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. And you don't need any more reason. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look down, deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problem. That's alright. This coffee shop has been seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. Yeah, 
I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? Oh, good grief. <laughs> Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes. I'll take one. Green tea latte. Alright. Okay. Green tea milk. Tea milk. Mostly milk. <laughs> yeah. Here's a green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can, if you try hard enough. No, that's all right. <laughs> At least, that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I need to go now and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. To visit again. Right, so I want to check something. Yeah. Right, what's what's this? Okay, so. Oh my gosh, information. But yeah, birthday 29. 29th of January. Writer for the Evening Whispers. Talks about mundane things, art, and life in general. Friends only. Close friends only. Okay, we'll just. We'll read over the ones that we, we've um, talked to first, and then the other ones, we'll, we'll get them whenever we see them. Lua, birthday 2nd of October. I can't read that. <laughs> Bailey's, birthday 10th of August, freelance designer and number one pumpkin spice fan. Love that. Okay. You're listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close shop after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. Black lemon, a perfect unlikely combination of sour and bitter. The oh black my. lemon. Black <laughs> lemon. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020.
Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Seattle groceries desperation problems harm local restaurants. Fire plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. Wow. <laughs> All right. Oh. Good evening. Good gracious. What is wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry. But I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay. Just tell me. What are you going to write about? This coffee shop. <laughs> what? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Are you for real? Yes. What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. That's like a breach of customers personalized, you know? Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knifewalker novel versus movie level loosely based. The old one? Of course, I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That's already very different, you know. Can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you to, to write about a coffee shop, right? Not to write about it. To not, yeah. Okay, my bad. No, you can't. Although you can just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. <laughs> what? Just kidding. I would do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway. I'm really excited to see who's going to come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. Oh, I guess... I guess I'll... I'll read them. If you wish, yeah. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems y'all are having high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Mookie... No need to be that formal with me. <laughs> We're both on duty here. Hence the formalities. You're as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight. So, I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea. I'm out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks to your Tomodachi profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyway, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Okay, hold on. Sweet coffee. Okay, let me share. There. All right, Georgie, first of June. June. Okay. So, <laughs> do you, yeah. <laughs> so, let me just look at the brew pad. Coffee with like a hint of sweetness, but no. No milk. No milk. I'm going to assume 
Maybe it's something unique? You can just like put coffee, so it's like coffee in general. And then just... Is that honey over there? Is that What's there? this? Ginger? Honey. Oh! Oh, this is just this is just like a certain Toho game. Just put honey in things to make this. Yeah, I I don't know yeah. if it it, w <laughs> it would be good in a coffee, but we could try. Well, you can do one coffee and two honeys, or you can do what you just did. Well, he said like coffee with like a hint of sweetness, so I'm guessing he doesn't want like real sweet. Right. Let's just see how this goes. It doesn't come out as a mistake. It's honey coffee. Honey coffee. Coffee with honey for the man on duty. Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Thank you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with service like you gave the old pop here, please. What are you having? Still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. The one and only espresso. It's all she ever drinks. Espresso. Pure coffee. Pure nitro fuel. A starless night sky for the green haired fairy. I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. This is perfect. So how's everything going on the paper, Miss Freya? As usual. Awful. She's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one, at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. Not that much. Folks, seriously. Care to share the details properly? You tell them. She's secretly using her working hours to do... Is something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I can tell you that. She does. Gee, thank you. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least not yet. Her life will probably be pretty hard if she messes this thing up, though. Thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as Mookie said, my editor-in-chief don't doesn't know about it yet. My novel is going to be published by our parent company anyway. So, technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out about it. Wait. Is stealing time a crime? Technically, I'm gonna have to arrest you. Hey, you do it all the time, too. The, those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they take longer than they meant to. But still, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. <laughs> Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not. But if your writing career goes up in flames, police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Just don't mention that you like doing other things during work hours. I want to say thanks. 
but I feel like I should be a Finn. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Oh, good. What will it be about? Coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. You're telling her to do what? You're telling her to do that? There's no stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't write about shady looking police officers who love to take breaks more than they should inside of a coffee shop near their post. <laughs> I will definitely write about that police officer. He'll make a good comedic character. What's that, a compliment or are you making fun of me, eh? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? Mookie is probably worried about losing customers due to breaching privacy. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I'll be using real names. It'll dramatize most things I've heard, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll only be the inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from the people around here, right? No. Come on. Nope. No, no, no. You helped me once with one of the stories I wrote for the paper. The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me other interesting tips. I helped you more than once, actually. What? Really? Now it's my turn to say come on. Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker. The one who's always playing his guitar, always got a rose of him. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during that investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. You took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. Never complained about... He never complained that you used his story for the paper. I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he said he's more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in this line of work. In his line of work. Yeah, the rose has become some kind of prop for him now. Anyway. Back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me. Lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. It's pretty weird. I don't know what to, what her deal is. She has bright green hair. Oh, come on. I'm so excited to hear about something real. You think you're not real? Wow, that went deep fast. Faster than my career going downhill. Hey, what's, what's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why this coffee shop? Um, because I spent a lot of my time here, I guess. And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. What about them? We're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. I've been told in fictional form countless times before. But it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regulars here? 
No. The girl visited, visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. But she was with her co-workers or clients. Helping her friends sober up, I guess. You, you gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend it against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Hmm, <laughs> good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh yeah, go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make this a habit. Can't promise you that. Okay then. See you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. I think I need to go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with the writing. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Oh, you're just the best, Mickey. Sorry, I was drinking water. I will drink water. <laughs> yeah. Water break. Wet your mouth so that your throat does not give out on you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Okay, off to the world of imagination I go. Go on. I guess we can do another day. If you want. I mean, up to you. Hmm, that should do for the experiment. Ah, someone's coming. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mr. Gala. Okay, let's, let's see who these people are. Gala, and I'm assuming... Yeah, someone else new you haven't talked to. Let's see, Gala. Birthday, September 13th. Yeah, if we have more information on Georgie and the Freya now. Oh, yeah. self summer. Born and raised in Seattle, lactose intolerant cop. Okay, so he probably wouldn't have a southern accent then. I well, have no idea. I'm sticking with it, because... <laughs> he did start with y'all, so... Um, yeah. I, I also just want to, like, change it up, because if I just do, like, changes in tones for voices, then <laughs> eventually someone else is going to sound the exact same as the other, and I'll get confused. Um, anywho. Journalist and short story writer. You can read my serial and word period short stories at the Evening Whispers. Idealize and aspire to be someone like Gail Naiman or Maruki Haruku, Haruka, Harukami. I have no idea who that is. Anyway, probably a facial person. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Oh yeah, we should probably discuss who, who takes who. Alright. Um... I'm, I'm kinda... I'm kinda digging Mr. Gala, personally. Okay, then. You can have him, then. Alright. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mookie. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. the place you recommended. You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shops you're used to in LA, but... Gala. It's fine. Uh... Sorry to interrupt. Do 
you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. Okay, let's see. Coffee and ginger. Is there a recipe for this? No. Guess I'm just going to have to rent it. Uh, wing it on this one. Yeah, coffee. Coffee. Let's do two coffee and a ginger. Let's. That way I'm not adding anything else that he didn't ask for. Oh my. Your order is ready, sir. Thank you. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. Okay. I'll have whatever he's had. Okay. Two coffees and a ginger. Exact same one. <laughs> Here's your order. Mm, good choice. Anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things changed a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop, I believe this was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, mister. Hyde, my name is Hyde. From what I gathered, you're from L.A., right? I am. I used to live here decades ago. That brings you back to Seattle. I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. I see. You two knowing each other for long? I assume? You could say that. Yeah, I think we met not long. Not so long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, you were talking about the 1860s? Hey. No, we met in the 1960s. <laughs> we're old by some racist standard. But not that old. Although it's so fair to say that we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. This was the place, wasn't it, where we first met? Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved? Bankrupt. Ah, oh, such a pity. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh... You're happy the bar closed down? What's with your smile, if I don't- if you don't mind? Nothing. I was just wondering. Will history repay itself? I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You've got something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, it's been quite a long time since you last, your last visit. Busy at work? Kinda. With the news about the newfound virus going viral, the hospital is extremely crowded. 
Is the virus that dangerous? No one is sure about that. But most people who come here are just... I don't want to use this word. But they're just paranoid. We're still doing the same job in the same hospital. What was it called? Admission officer. And yes, I'm still a hospital ad admission officer there. Should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. Hey. To each their own. Anyway, I was wondering. They still sell legal blood at your hospital. They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. They can just order through that blood marketplace app. Talking about Bloodlast? Uh-huh. Bloodlast get their supply from the hospital? They can't certify blood on their own. Only hospitals of in ministry and of health can do that. They're just middlemen, with a lot of sales promos. You use it often? Really, I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? But I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah, how's your vegan dying doing? It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. conquer. Excuse me for asking. By queen vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Synthetic blood? Be too complicated to explain. But basically some scientists are working. To make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind. Without relying on real blood. Serving real blood has some cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Is it expensive? It is. I can afford it, though. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. But synthetic blood tastes good. If mixed with other ingredients? Why? Want to start selling blood based drinks? Might attract new customers. And turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although some do try experimenting with other things. Other things? Mostly booze. But I know some mix it with not-so-legal substances. Hey. You know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly fury. Found a less painful method to restrain yourself? Not yet. But I do know that it's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you ordered coffee with ginger? Yes, I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine in, co in coffee for it to be a remedy. Why don't you use the fury sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Besides, this sedati this sedative is too general. Each of us have our own remedy that we need to find. And sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need, to be honest. At least your calming method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to do... 
kinky stuff to soothe themselves during their fury. What kind of kinky? Like, BDSM. Oh my god! Bondage. <laughs> I, I knew this would come up. <laughs> as soon as he started talking about it. And you'd perk up. <laughs> that only happens in porn. Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know? Hey, a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your leg. Darn. I mean, having sex is, as a calming method is pretty common. But normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it. It would be pretty brutal doing bondage stuff during the Fury. Exactly. So, continuing with your story. How far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far, all I know is it involves ginger. Probably something lightly caffeinated. Like tea, maybe. You better write that down. You won't want him wreaking havoc in the coffee shop. We don't have any tea today. But the next time you're visiting... Maybe I could try be brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. I'm sorry. I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. Alright. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. So I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take care on your way home. I see. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Are you done with your writing tonight? Kinda. Those two guys. Kinda reminds me of this video I saw online. I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of Wolf Pup playing with a baby tiger. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? What video did you think I was talking about? You know... Uh, oh, never mind. You... I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. <laughs> You're really bad at it. Anyway, it was a pretty interesting and productive night. But now I need to get some sleep. Yes. Please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume. Oh, don't you worry. I will be here tomorrow. Night, night. Be careful on your way back. Shin Kin Maika. Variation of Japanese brew mixing a brown rice with ginger. That's the drink he needs, the ginger tea. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, maybe. I... I don't yeah. know if it auto-saves, but... Well, maybe hit the button and then... Yeah. As soon as we get back to where you can open the menu, there might be a, like, a quit option or whatever. Right. Despite losing a member of Super, Super Smiles, latest album sold at a, a million copies. Stop workplace racial profiting. Profiling, profiling sorry. <laughs> the Orcish Workers Union, union demands. <laughs> I can't speak. What is wrong with me? Okay. Oh, save camp. Save camp. Here. Okay. Just. Gonna save again just to be sure. Um, yeah. 
Alright, everyone. I'm going to end it here. If you all enjoyed and would like to see more, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, and let's see what else. <laughs> Make sure to have a good day. Yep. Bye, everyone. Bye.